<clears throat> the views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. And now, boys and girls and boys and girls. Cough, cough, beginning of the bit. It's time once again to get out your trapper keepers and your graphing calculators and your massive amounts of Adderall that you take to focus because it's homework time yet again on the Pope on Film podcast. <laughs> <clears throat> People of the internet, your attention, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. <laughs> the Pope on Film podcast assigns homework every week to its listeners in the hopes of bettering them, nay, the world. And this week we are once again beating the dead comedy horse that is Richard Simmons. Yes. And how much you want to bet that that is not the first time that the name Richard Simmons was said in a sentence along with the words horse and beating. <laughs> that is probably not the first time, <laughs> judging by what I know about Richard Simmons. Yeah. Those, those words have meant before. Yes. So here's the deal. I, I really like like went deep into the rabbit hole to try and explain this. Richard Simmons, for decades, was the world's most accessible celebrity ever. Yes. He opened his own gym in Beverly Hills in the 70s. He ran a number of classes a week. He did lectures. He ran workouts. He was always there. He always met with fans. He, he ran a very interactive website. He, he would personally call fans to to uh he would literally call them on the phone to congratulate them about being doing good with a with a with their diet mm -hmm. or calling them to give them words of wisdom or just go to their house and meet with them yeah. he also had his own uh personal youtube account his own personal twitter account his own personal facebook page and stuff not once that other people ran but once he ran himself he was always out there Mm -hmm. He appeared on TV shows and talk shows. He was on the Disney cartoon Fish Hooks. Yes. Where he, where they wrote a part for him where it's all these fish and they live in the ocean and, and these teenage fish go to school. And one of their teachers is this loud teacher called uh, – uh, he was the gym teacher. He was Coach Simmons. And Richard Simmons voiced him, and there were all these fish going, oh, man, I hate P.E. And then suddenly Coach Simmons comes in. Hi, kids. Today we're going to learn to jump and flip and lose weight and have fun. And the kids <laughs> would just hate it. So he appeared on TV shows, and he appeared on commercials, and he released a number of products and shakes and so many goddamn workout DVDs. He loved meeting fans, and he was literally all over the place. And then, boom, he disappeared from everything in February 2014. That was the last time anyone saw him in public. Literally, no one has seen really? him at all since February of 2014. He stopped doing YouTube. He stopped doing Twitter. He stopped doing Facebook. He stopped showing out at his gym. It got so serious that his gym, which opened in 1972, closed down in 2016 with no goddamn explanation whatsoever. Ooh. It was still very popular and very successful. He had it in Beverly Hills. It, people still go went to that gym and had memberships and loved the gym, and yet it quietly closed down without a goddamn explanation last year. His sudden, drastic disappearance fueled massive, yes. widespread speculation, and there are so many different ones I, out there. I must say, I must say that even I appreciate a gym that serves margaritas. Yes, yes. And, and mimosas, you know? Yeah, the gym my parents used to force me to go to a couple of times a week because I was so skinny that I was a weakling and they didn't want me to be beaten up. 
they had like a bar in the beginning where they made like shakes and stuff and god damn those were good there is no <laughs> way that those were healthy oh man they had these like strawberry ice cream shakes and it's like okay there's no reason for this to be in a gym but you know what whatever i don't care <laughs> but here are some of the massive widespread crazy ass speculations that people uh have thrown at the sudden disappearance of richard simmons he's being held prisoner he's having a sex change he's walking around in drag in his mansion depressed he's mourning the death of his dogs He's on his deathbed. He has cancer. And I'm just being brutally honest here. Yeah. But I tried to look up things that happened to Richard Simmons. And I am goddamn surprised I didn't read a single mention of the word AIDS. Yeah. Just being really honest here. When I hear Richard Simmons on his deathbed, I'm slightly surprised that people say, yes, cancer. Oh, really? Okay. All right. We're not going. We're not going where my brain automatically went. All right, then. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> but the mystery surrounding Richard Simmons has become so chic and in style right now that a limited edition podcast called Missing Richard Simmons came out at the beginning of this year, and it focused with a creepy-ass precision <laughs> on just Richard Simmons. Uh, Huffington Post... <laughs> Huffington Post called the podcast Gripping and Icky. <laughs> and the New York Times, the New York Times called the podcast Morally Suspect and Exploitative. Okay. They would take calls and people would call and, and, uh, and give them tips and pointers and what they've heard. And it was just filled with rumor and hearsay and speculation and, and no facts whatsoever. And they would look into these facts to find out if they were, if they thought they were true or not. And it was just, it, it's eerie to see like an entire, like 10 episode podcast just focused on what this one celebrity is doing. It, yeah. it's, it's a bit creepy, but the mini series this mini series of a podcast was a huge ass hit. Apparently, uh, uh, nobody told me this in the beginning, but apparently you could just record five or ten episodes of a podcast, make it about a current fad, and make a shit ton of money. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Bunny and I are pleased to announce our brand new mini series podcast, Fidget Spinners Today. Yes. An eight episode podcast just about fidget spinners and how radical they are. Yes. Yeah. Call in with your fidget spinner questions. Well, we'll my my one observation is, okay, about fidget spinners. Mm -hmm. If you look at American society, whenever we feel the the most fucked, we get attached to really stupid shit. Yeah. So yeah, like I... this is this is just society's current pet rock. Yeah, I was just about to say I had a pet rock. Yeah, well, some. that's that, that was also right around the time of the Iran hostage crisis, which yeah. scared the fuck out of us. Yeah. So, so here's an interesting story surrounding Richard Simmons, and it might, maybe, possibly, in eventually, there's a small chance that this weird, interesting story might lead to Richard Simmons coming out of hiding. Yes. So from June 2016 to March 2017, both Radar Online and the National Enquirer, which I was in, they gave me a half a, half a page interview. I was really proud of that. <laughs> um, both Radar Online and the National Enquirer were both writing hard the story that Richard Simmons is transitioning to a female. And apparently one of the reasons why they doubled down on this story, despite the fact that they didn't really have any proof, was because they figured if he argued against the story, then Radar Online and the National Enquirer could just turn it around him and say, oh, so what Richard Simmons says is that he hates trans people. <laughs> Wow, we've got a new story. Richard Simmons hates trans people. How dare you, Richard oh. Simmons? Because Radar Online and the National Enquirer are just assholes. 
Um, so now Richard Simmons is suing Radar Online and the National Enquirer. He's suing them while also repeatedly mentioning how he's not against trans people in any way. So it's really yeah. interesting. I, 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 I bet he cried. Well, that's the thing. Nobody knows because he did it in a statement that he released through like a, a manager and not you, him himself. You, you know, tested for DNA and you'll find the salt of Richard Simmons tears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so anyway, if they don't settle and it's obvious that this lawsuit is going to settle, but if they don't settle, then Richard Simmons will most death have to take the stand. And if he does. There's a small possibility he might come out of hiding. This might be our one chance to see Richard Simmons again. Yes. So, in an effort to shamelessly cash in on the popularity of wild, uh, unfactual speculations into Richard Simmons' personal life, it is time for Bunny and I to once again engage in a friendly game of dueling lists. Yes, I'm ready. I'm really Bunny feeling and I it. each have compiled our own top ten list, and we will be sharing them with you now. Bunny, do you have ten? Yes, I do. Do you have exactly ten? I have exactly ten. Uh, I did mention two of them on the previous show. Okay. Because I figured you'd go over the ten, so I have eleven. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. But this time, our dueling lists uh, is... 10 things that Richard Simmons might be up to. Okay. And that is our dueling list. Since I have 11, I will go first. Yes. Okay. Uh, number one for me, Richard Simmons is currently holed up in his mansion, feverishly working on his autobiography entitled Smelling Like Semen, The Richard Simmons Story. <laughs> Yeah, you say ooh, but the thing is, is that there's a good chance that's true. I mean, you've seen Richard Simmons, right? And an alternate title could possibly be Smells Like Teen Semen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, from everything I've seen of Richard Simmons, there's no doubt in my mind that he smells like the delivery driver I used to have. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. smells like a cheap porn store. <laughs> <laughs> with a Bunny. lazy jizz mopper. Yeah. Bunny, go ahead. Your okay. turn. <clears throat> Knowing that Jesus didn't love him, Richard Simmons converts to Islam and joins ISIS. Nice. 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 That might be happening. We don't know. We the don't only know. way for these to not be proven true is for Richard Simmons to come out of hiding. Richard Simmons may be a threat to this great nation. <laughs> yeah. So here is my next one, and I honestly think that this might be true. Um, Richard Simmons is currently lost in a deep depression without David Letterman around to publicly shame him on national TV because that's the only way Richard Simmons can get off. <laughs> like, seriously, Richard Simmons was always there. Yeah being made fun of on David Letterman. David Letterman goes off TV and Richard Simmons says, eh, it's not fun anymore. Well, well, what else was he doing at that time? It's possible that David Letterman could have just kept him in a trunk in the back. It's a good point. Yeah. It's a good point. So, uh, go ahead, Bunny, with your next one. All right. Finding love for the first time in his life, Richard Simmons hijacked the plane to Guatemala to hook up with Dora the Explorer. Nice. Nice. There's an, it, it, I'm so happy that both Maxwell and Eleanor did not grow up with Dora the Explorer. I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it happened, and I'm really proud Good. that somehow... Uh, All right. Okay. Honey, yeah, I love you. I also love you. Okay. I'm charging my uh, computer battery on your computer. What do you mean, on my computer? I Please specify. You switch the batteries. Yes. Yeah. Huh? What the? So the battery in your laptop is my battery. Yeah, I was going to suggest doing that earlier, but I was actually on my computer. Did... It didn't turn anything off. Everything's still up. 
I tapped and made sure I wouldn't have. Well, I Why didn't you just take it. my battery and put it in your computer and turn your computer on then? Oh, I didn't think about that. I've just been charging. Wow. I didn't want to. I didn't want to switch out and then forget, so the one in your laptop is mine right now. Hi, Amber. Amber's wearing a Guns N' Roses shirt because I'm pretty sure I ruined it for my daughter. Ah. It was, was that Emerald's Guns N' Roses shirt? Huh? Was that Emerald's Guns N' Roses shirt? Yeah, it was Emerald's Guns N' Roses shirt. And then I think I ruined it for her, so now ah. Amber wears it all the time. Sure, sure. I got back up. So, is it my turn? Uh, I is think so. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ten things that Richard Simmons might be up to for me. Number three, he's a hummingbird now. <laughs> Surprisingly, that wouldn't be surprising. No. Like if that was on the news tomorrow, this just in. Richard Simmons, now a hummingbird. Everybody would pretty much be, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Which one was yours? Did you ever use mine? Which one was yours? Uh, so, um, I think I rewrote one. I think, like, this number nine was one that was uh, based on yours. No, that was, that was yours, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's got some really good ones. Did you know Richard Simmons might have might be in league with ISIS right now? I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see that you even attempted to use mine. That's okay. You're shaming my Richard Simmons list, honey. I did no such thing. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I'm just messing with you. Uh, go ahead, Bunny, with your next one. What was yours? He's a hummingbird now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Hummingbird. Uh. Bowing to pressures from his religious order, Richard Simmons returns as the Green Power Ranger. Nice. Nice. Well, yeah, there's new Power Rangers now, so. Yep. Hip new Power Rangers. <laughs> so, uh, Richard Simmons is currently in seclusion, working on the long-awaited follow-up to sweating in the, sweating, sweating to the oldies, currently titled Hyperventilating to Adult Contemporary. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of Michael McDonald on yeah. that video. <laughs> oh, sweet freedom. Oh, 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 oh. A lot of Michael McDonald. How to exercise without breaking anything. <laughs> yeah. Go for it, bunny. This is it. This is the one that blows this case wide open. Okay. And where Richard Simmons has been. Richard Simmons joins the priesthood, but he keeps getting moved from parish to parish. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hi, That's I'm why Father we can't. Richard. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. That's why we can't find him. Yeah. Richard Simmons didn't disappear, he merely evolved into his next level form. Richard Simmons is hard. <laughs> sure, we're going to miss regular Richard Simmons, but now Richard Simmons is hard now has flame burst and fire span. Nice. Which will make his battles easier. <laughs> <clears throat> very nice. Very nice. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I worked, think so. he's worked very hard. He has. Up from the bottom. Well, yeah. near the bottom. The bottom of the top. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Richard Simmons has been on the run from the law after shooting Seth Rich. Seth Rich. Yes. Seth Rich. Nice. Richard Simmons merely returned to his home planet of Flamertopolis. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yes. Which is a planet far, far away. And oddly, it's on the exact opposite side of the sun from Transylvania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat>
After finally coming to terms with, with himself, Richard Simmons has decided he identifies as male and has been undergoing several sex reassignment surgeries and is currently living as a fighter pilot named Brock. Nice. That, mm -hmm. Good for him, as long as he's happy. Yes. You know, as long as he's happy. Richard Simmons was always a hyperactive sort of celebrity, always moving around and being hyper. So Richard Simmons moved so fast yeah. that he actually moved through time. <laughs> and now he's stuck in 1885. 1885? He's alive! The doc's alive! <laughs> he's in the Wild West, but he's alive! <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you give Richard Simmons coffee. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone gave him cocaine and he just disappeared. <laughs> On his doctor's recommendations to move to a cooler climate, Richard Simmons has been working as one of Santa's little helpers. Nice. Nice. That wouldn't be surprising. That would not be no. surprising. Richard Simmons disappeared in 2014. 2014. So his disappearance just proves my theory that Joan Rivers was Richard Simmons in drag. <laughs> Makes sense. Yes. Joan Rivers dies. Richard Simmons suddenly disappears. Mm, that's convenient. I, I think you may have a point. Yeah, I think I'm on to something. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Accepting his mutant superpowers of extreme fabulosity, Richard Simmons joins the Avengers to, to defeat Thanos. He, he'd be a good Avenger. Maybe, like, I'm, I'm thinking he would be kind of like Speedball. Yeah. He's the guy who caused Civil War to happen in the comic books. Richard Simmons, I just, I just feel that he would shoot rainbows, but those rainbows would really sting your eyes. When did it? it if, if I turned it off, it was just because it was turning off all the lights. Well, that would fit into when you did it, yeah. Okay. Well, it, I said, when did you turn off this light? I don't remember. Was the light supposed to be on? I'm okay. I'm confused. The stress of celebrity was too much for Richard Simmons, so he went to Africa with Dave Chappelle. Because <laughs> that's just what you do if, if it becomes too much for you. Yes. Yeah. That that may be where he hooked up with Dora. Possibility. Yeah, we can link a couple of them together. And you know, I, and I'm almost positive that it was Dora's connections to the drug cartels that that served as a back door for Richard Simmons to get into ISIS. See, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. He's hot. Thank you. Uh, it's your turn, buddy. So, so maybe he's done all of these things. Yeah, maybe all of enough. them. That's well, if you that, consider yeah. if you consider the multiverse and parallel universes, then every one of these that we are saying. Yeah exists somewhere in the multiverse. <laughs> yeah. So there yeah, is sense. a Richard Simmons hummingbird. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's... Is it your turn? It's your turn, right? I believe it is my turn. Yes. Okay. Guilty over his pri privileged life, Richard Simmons has been trying to purge his soul by working as a catfish noodler. A catfish noodler. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mean he a rugged. He's, he's trying to live a rugged life. No, you know what he's doing? He's dextering himself. He's a lumberjack uh, somewhere. No. Yes. No, if he became a catfish noodler, that motherfucker would have been pulled up, down and drowned. There's catfish here in Oklahoma. I've seen bigger than him. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Well, you know, you start off with little catfish in a tank, you know, and you work your way up. Just like, you know, any any craft. Yeah. So, so here's a good one. Here's a good one. 
Richard Simmons has shied away from the public eye so he can quietly and privately finally transition into a unicorn. <laughs> Richard Simmons is so fluffy! Yeah. I I can totally see that. Yeah, it makes sense. It, it's it's good sense. Yes. We'll show up at every Brony commercial, a good convention. I was going to tell you. Uh, yes? That you could move around more than once. Yeah, I realized that recently. That's on our uh, yeah. horizon and on our... Yeah, so I can just move around. Yeah. And Maxwell did his podcast out here in the living room. Nice. So do you have one more? Yes, I do. Okay. And go this, this is the last one. Okay. <clears throat> Having, his, having squandered his fortune on hookers and blow, Richard Simmons supports his extensive jerry curl addiction by selling grit magazine. All grit, yeah. Selling grit door to door. Yeah. This is my last one. I'm really proud of this one. Um, number 11 for me on my list of 10 things that Richard Simmons might be up to. He was so deep in the closet that Richard Simmons is Narnia's problem now. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I nice. To deal with Richard Simmons because <laughs> we are done. Oh, oh, good closer, dude. Thank you. I was looking for a good closer. I oh. didn't think the unicorn was strong enough, but then, yeah. I'm Richard Simmons. That was perfect. Yeah. And that is it for this week's homework assignment. And I sincerely hope that your eyes, minds, and bladders have been suitably opened. Ah, uh, but don't think you're getting out that easily. Don't forget next week's homework assignment. And next week, we are recklessly diving headfirst into, once again, into the painfully awesome world of Christian Scare Films. Oh, what do you got? These are my favorite. What do you got? With the apparently legendary 1972 Christian Scare film, The Burning Hell. Oh. It's on YouTube. It's supposed to be good. It's by director Ron Ormond, and his story is crazy ass. Oh. Absolutely crazy ass because this guy was a uh like a like a poor man's grindhouse director churning out crap and then he got into an accident and he became born again and decided to start making christian scare films but in re if you really know his story yeah it's pretty clear that he's just still churning out crap that he thinks dumb people will pay to see except now those dumb people are holding bibles nice so, so this is basically just a christian grindhouse movie oh that sounds that sounds that sounds awesome yeah it's called the burning hell it's on youtube and eleanor give me that bowl because you absolutely cannot have this have, don't try and have that spoon have you seen this uh, I started watching it and it was so crazy ass that I just st I stopped watching it because I it, it just screamed homework. Okay, because I, I I I am I I'm making predictions in my head. I am expecting demons in this, but they're just like guys in rubber masks. I'm expecting a scene like that. I'm seeing, uh, I'm expecting to see fire that is a mix of bad overlay stock footage of fire and um, cellophane paper, red yeah. and orange yeah. and fans. Yeah. So, so join us next week for Homer with the Pope on film, The Burning Hell. It's all over YouTube. It's it's all over the place. Yeah. It's like an hour long. So we may fun. we may hear music from Night of the Living Dead. Okay. Or Teenage Space Man. Okay, that's cool. I'm down mm -hmm. with that. These these are my predictions. 
for this home. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm following you now. Thank you.